The Panthers hired Tim Petaway to take over the Whitmer girls basketball program. BCSN's Alex Wilcox sat down with the new man in charge to talk Panther hoops and what his players can expect from him as a coach. Coach, congrats on taking the, the new job, taking over the girls basketball program at Whitmer. Tell me, what made this a job that you wanted to take? Um, this is my ninth year coaching high school basketball, and um, I've spent some time a little bit everywhere. I spent four or five years at Start. I, I've been at Scott. I've been two tours at Scott, and last year was my first year at Whitmer. Uh, so I coached under Coach uh, Brandon Bosch, and it was a fantastic experience. And I really love the culture. I love the environment. I love the community, and I love the way the community supported the school. And so when uh, Coach Bosch decided to step down, you know, I kind of reached out to him and told him, you know, at worst, I wanted to stay on staff, right? I really just wanted to still be a part of the environment. And, and when I talked to the athletic director, you know, he kind of reached out and just kind of said, like, hey, if you're interested, we'd love to at least look into you, you being a head coach. So, you, I mean, you, you've got a, a bunch of experience uh, here here in Toledo coaching coaching local mm -hmm. schools. What is it about uh, Toledo and and this this community, you know, that that keeps you here and and you know that that you like coaching these kids? Um, I'm a teacher, right? So everything about my life is is kind of engulfed in and being a part of the community and being a part of kids' lives. Um, I also coach AAU basketball for Toledo Thunder. So, you know, I kind of coach all year round. Um, I've, I've been really fortunate to coach some of the best players Toledo has had to offer over these last eight or nine years and, and really be able to entrench myself um, in athletics as far as growth basketball is concerned. And so, you know, outside of basketball, I still, you know, my day job is being around kids and, you know, I have kids and a wife and kids of my own. So it, it's, it's seamless. It's very much a seamless transition. My family's from here. Um, my wife's family is from here. So it's, we're, we're definitely a part of the Toledo community. So taking a job, coaching girls basketball is another um, opportunity for me to give back to the community I love. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Ed, as you said, I mean, you know, Toledo, Toledo's home for you, you know, it's Absolutely. for you, your wife, your family, all of that. Um, now, you said that, uh, that you were in, an assistant on, uh, on the Whitmer staff last year, right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, how, how much can that familiarity, you know, familiarity with the school, with, with the program, and, and of course with the players too, help you in taking over as, as the head coach? Uh, I think Coach Bosch laid a great foundation and Coach Fleming laid a great foundation before him. So, you know, I'm really able to walk into a program that, that has um, good bricks already under it, you know, so I'm able to build on things that already existed. Um, you know, a lot of times when you take over coaching jobs, sometimes you walk into situations where, you know, you're you're starting from the bottom, and I'm really fortunate to not have to endure that kind of uh, rebuilding process. You, we only graduated two seniors last year, so there's a lot of, you know, being part of the staff, I'm familiar with the players that are still in existence. Um, we have three seniors this year, and then other than that, we're a fairly young team and a fairly young program. Um, so, you know, I'm familiar with the players. I'm familiar with the, with the environment in and of itself and the expectations that come with being at a school with, with good tradition and, and good, you know, good bones to it. What are your goals for this team, especially in your first year as coach? You know, I, I've sat down and I've thought about it. I don't really have a, a wins goal, like, you know, a certain amount of games that I want to win for the year. Um, obviously, you know, your first goal is to always win your league championship. And, you know, you're competing against a Notre Dame team that is that has kind of been in the front for a long time. Um, and so, you know, your first goal is to win a track championship. But more importantly for me, it's, you know, you really want to develop uh, really sound young ladies and really sound students. And then you kind of worry about the basketball thing. And for me, that's always been my my approach to coaching is I, I really want to develop really sound young ladies. I've kind of put together a really good coaching staff and some Whitmer alumni and some people that I've coached with for a long time. Um, but it was really important for me to have women on staff, you know, women who knew the game of basketball and could, you know, help process um, not only the game itself, but the emotions that come with it that sometimes I can't relate to. Uh, and that is part of my strategy of making sure that I keep things in order, right? Making sure we talk about them being people and then them being students and then them being athletes. Um, so those are kind of my goals. You know, winning games, I think, is a product of doing the right thing. And so I'm hoping that by doing the right things and putting them in the right order, that winning games will just kind of be a part of what we do.